Hey, Peter here from Tin Man. Today we're going to do an in-depth cleaning of the Harman Allure pellet stove. Okay, here we go. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to want to remove the rear panel on the right side. The right side is when you're facing the unit. So on the lower side in the rear, you're going to remove that panel. You're going to loosen those screws. You don't need to take those completely out. You can just loosen them with either a socket or a flat screwdriver. Now when you get that gone, just pull, lift up and pull to the side. Here you're getting a look at the fines door. So that fines door is a wing nut. You're just going to loosen that up, lift up on it. There is a clip, it's hard to get with the camera, up on the top. So it has to be, when put back in place, lift it on top and drop down into uh, its slot. And then you basically would vacuum out any of the sawdust that would accumulate here. This would be the biggest accumulation you're going to get. This is... Um, once a year we recommend doing this um, and after every year uh, if it's not a whole pile of, of sawdust build up there then you can probably go every second year on cleaning that here you're seeing alicia put the stove in test mode right now um, so what we're doing is we're turning our combustion on full so rather than pull the power as harman recommends we like using the stove as a exhaust so basically, by turning on the combustion fan while you're doing your cleaning on the, on the inside of the firebox, you're going to actually uh, not have as much dust and uh, pellet dust coming out in, in your home. So you saw her a second ago just clean out the, um, just backing out the actual burn pot itself, get some of that chunky residue out of there. Now she's just going to brush the firebox off. And you can use a paintbrush, doesn't matter size, just a smaller brush gets in uh, nooks and crannies, but you want to go with a bigger brush. Basically what you're doing is you're taking off the uh, soot that's built up on the heat exchanger. This actually robs a lot of your heat uh, that's in your distribution fan. So by keeping that clean, you will have a lot more heat exchange. So it'll work a lot better for you um, when you, after a full cleaning like this. And basically you're just gonna go to the size of the top and she's got the vacuum on the whole time while this is going. This is one of our uh, tools that we use as well here. This is just a, basically this is a flat screwdriver uh, that's turned on the end on an angle. And that's to scrape the carbon off the burn pot. So this is where a lot of carbon builds up and she's just tapping some of that down to get it inside the holes. So the carbon, you want to scrape this really, really good. And that's, um, sometimes you can do this too, like uh, when it's warm uh, after the stove has just gone out or while it's burning. In some cases, Harman does recommend that you can do that for light scrapes. But for that, we're actually just going to give it a good scrape. And now we're going at the ash pan. Just vacuum up the front here first, pull the ash pan. And you can see there's quite a bit of soot that's built up there inside that ash pan. So we're gonna take that and go get that dumped. And she's just gonna vacuum it around the bottom where the ash pan came out. You can note the blower in the back, that round hole, that blower fan is spinning. So you don't wanna put your, um, you don't wanna put your vacuum in there. Next, she's going back and she's going to turn off the combustion fan and you can pull the power at this point. So as you can see now that the fan is actually not going anymore and we're lifting up that rear panel and removing that rear panel. Nice and simple. Gives us access to our combustion blower wheel or paddle, some people like to call them. And you can see the, the hole at the top of the wheel there. Um, that's actually where your exhaust gets sucked out through. In there, you're going to see your ESP probe. So we're just going to do the same thing with the brush here. We're going to actually clean off all the soot, get rid of all that. Uh, the vacuum is still going while she's got this, while she's doing this process here now, and she's cleaning off that exhaust uh, paddle and making sure that's clean. If that gets a lot really dirty, they'll it can throw it off balance. So we want to make sure this is clean. And you can see how quick that is. That's you don't have to do this after once a season. You can do that a couple times if you like. Very simple to pull the ash pan and go in, in behind and get that area. Looking back from above now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually get access to the igniter bay. So we're going to loosen the two thumb screws that are there, and we're going to start to get in here with the camera now and have a look up. And you can see this is the bottom of the cradle that holds the igniter in place. We like to use a mirror uh, just to have a look at the holes. So she's looking here at the to see if there's any holes partially plugged, and we just take a, a Harman to supply a, an Allen key with the. Uh, units so we just take the allen key and we go down through the holes open up the holes that bottom row the first row and in some models the second row are the only area where heat comes from from the igniter 
So when it lights, or if you're ever having problems with the stove not lighting, or you're getting what we call delayed ignition, a lot of the times those holes can be plugged from carbon billet. And that's why uh, it's important. Here she's just giving it a scrape again, making sure that everything is uh, out of the, out clear and out of the way, and giving it a tap. So it drops everything down below, and she'll go down below and, and clean this out. This is one of our vacuum attachments that we have in our ash vac, and it's just a small hose to get in those little tight places. And she's vacuuming in around um, the bottom where soot can build up. You can scrape it out with your finger if you'd like, but there that is where the air, the primary air going into that burn pot comes from. It goes up through those holes. This is looking out through uh, the exhaust. So that's that hole in the back where the fan blade is to. You can just see the exhaust. That's the ESP probe right there. You can see that's nice and clean, so that's not uh, something to be overly concerned about. You can remove that if you need it to from in, on the other side of the stove. But looking back through, you can see this is not really dirty. And you also have to be careful with that so you don't damage it. So we use uh, one of these soft brushes. It's a metal brush, but it's on a, on a wire. And we can push it back right to up to the exhaust probe, but we don't want to hit that real hard. So we're just going to give that a cleaning out. And then we're going to vacuum out any of the residue that fell out of there. Alicia likes to go a little bit above and beyond. She's taking the scraping tool that came with the unit, and she likes to scrape that chamber. So here's a look now at the firebox after she gave it a good cleaning. All the panels are out. You can see everything is removed. Next up is the glass. We use a glass cleaner. You can get that at your local hearth store. A lot of people use different things on this, but we stick to the uh, manufacturers, what they recommend. So if it's designed for pellet stoves or, or propane fireplaces, this, it works really well. Wipe it on, wipe it off. Usually we let it sit for a little bit. And that can remove any residue, but usually pellet stoves, unlike wood stoves, the uh, residue on pellet stoves isn't too bad. This is some of the, the pieces that are left and she's assembling them back together. And that's our deflector. Our plate is going on the bottom uh, for our igniter. We're going to tighten those screws back up. If that's not in their correct position, it will leak air from there and you will get delayed ignition. Our rear guard slips on over for our combustion blower and the ash pan is going to go back in. Make sure your handle is out to the front. One of the things that uh, she likes to do too with her service on her service calls is she likes to give a little bit extra above and beyond. So to hear um, soot, or not sorry, not soot, I mean sawdust rather can build up on the uh, gasket. So uh, to get rid of that, she just vacuums around, vacuums around that edge, cleans off the glass for looking down into the actual hopper. At that point too, the stove is plugged back in. Now she's going to go into her cleaning prompts and reset the ash pan and reset the burn pot. The total clean is something that we leave for when we clean the vent as well. An event would be a different cleaning video, but that's the same time now as what I would do when I would clean the vent. Well, that concludes our uh, Harman cleaning video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and, and took some value from that. So please, if you don't mind, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and we will bring more content to you on our channel. We're actually really loving this and uh, really excited about our new channel and how everything's going. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.